Hello everybody, this is Die Antinatalist and um, these are some magazine clippings and it was, um, the clippings were from an artist and um, so I acquired um, some really, really cool vintage magazine um, clippings and ads. Some of them were from the Saturday Evening Post. Um, I'm assuming these are late 40s um, or like 1950, 1952, because some of the others had um, dates on the top of the page. Um, I just thought this one was really, really interesting. Um, and um, here's another one that, you know, says um, more doctors smoke camels. Than any other cigarette. Mm -hmm. Doctors in every field of medicine, graduates of every great medical school in the U.S., these are among the 113,000 doctors recently surveyed by three leading independent research organizations. One of the subjects in this nationwide study was personal cigarette. Um, uh, personal cigarette preference. What cigarette do you yourself prefer to smoke, doctor? Was the gist of the query. And the brand most named by doctors was Camel. And so, um, um, back, back to this other article. Um, there's the hospital with the lights on. Very interesting, interesting graphic song. I just love this. Um, so, right there. His work is never done. His battle knows no lulls, but he asks no quarter. And um, that's pretty much true because uh, the work is never done. Nobody's work is ever done until people stop breeding. We will always need plumbers, electricians, carpenters, doctors, grave diggers, nurses, jail wardens, police officers. Every single profession is needed as long as people keep having children. Now this ad here, look at that. Turn over a new leaf. That almost makes me want to start smoking. Yeah. Prolonging life. 24 hours a day, your doctor is on duty. And there are definitely 24 hour um, capabilities at the hospital. Um, some doctors are on call. Some dentists are on call. Um, pretty tireless profession. Um, and... Um, you know, it, it used to be thought of that prolonging life was a good thing. <laughs> but the older I get, I realize that it only prolongs harm. It prolongs suffering. And uh, obviously there was no doctor or nurse um, or anyone in the medical profession that went into it, you know, to prolong agony or suffering. That's exactly what it does, folks. Every 
pill, every heart medicine, every vitamin, every um, blood pressure medicine, every diabetic medication that you take only um, prolongs your life and uh, prolongs suffering. So, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, bone pick on <laughs> doctors. <laughs> I just thought that this ad was really, really um, just hilarious. It was actually in a lot of uh, a collection of chicken, chicken and rooster clippings, clippings and ads. And this is an ad for whiskey. And they no longer, um, you're not allowed to advertise um, liquor or cigarettes in, in magazines, I believe. I believe that was like, you know, stopped years ago. But anyway, so I was interested in the chicken graphics. And I just happened to turn them over to see these ads. There's another chicken ad, Rooster. So anyway, um, it's been really, really fun uh, um, taking a trip down memory lane. I just love the vintage um, collectibles and pictures and graphics. And um, I really like the 50s. I really like the 60s too. Very, very quality, uh, a quality time. Um, things were made with quality and attention and service was way better. Now this one was just my very, very favorite. A Bell Arena on Wheels. Wow, this just really, really, this just makes me want to smoke. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if I would look good smoking a, a, a cigarette. I hate cigarettes, folks. I hate the smell, I hate everything about it. This glamorization must have got a lot of people hooked. And a lot of people with emphysema and COPD and um, heart failure and cancer. Uh, I was raised with um, a smoker. Smoker and his wife. My dad and my stepmom. Couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it from the time I was a child. But anyway, um, everybody's career and profession um, is available only because we keep breeding. And that is not a reason to keep breeding. We need to stop breeding, stop this insanity. Because there's going to be mass destruction eventually of the human race. And it's better to voluntarily... Um, take ourselves out of the equation. Just refuse to reproduce. Um, foster. Adopt. Um, adopt a pet. There's so many unwanted pets around and there's just not enough child-free people to pick up the slack of uh, all of the parents and, you know, families whose children get tired of, you know, little fluffy or, um, you know, spot. Um, primarily the people who are involved in, you know, animal rescue, fostering are child free people or possibly retired. Um, the most active people I've ever known were, um, Anglo, female and child free. So anyway, let's just stop this, you know, repetitive cycle and, um, it's a vicious cycle. It's vicious and it's cruel. And the, the more we keep reproducing, the more people are going to have to struggle at their jobs. And um, the more people who are going to have to be on call, like doctors and plumbers and electricians <laughs> um, and that sort of thing. So anyway, I just wanted to make a simple point here. Thanks for watching.